Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another week-ish in my life. We've got lots of fun things that I want to do this week. I want to talk to you guys about some of my favorite books I've been reading, books I plan on reading. I'm going to try this new hobby that I want to do, which is palette painting cakes. I can show you a picture of what it looks like here. So we're going to try that out this week. It's supposed to be a rainy week all week. So I just plan on having a cozy time. Normally the rain or lack of sunshine just gets me down and kind of gets me in like an icky mood, but I'm going to try to make the most of it this week. And then this weekend we get to find out the gender of Kyle and Hannah's baby. If you guys don't know, my brother and sister-in-law are pregnant. They're having a baby and we are so, so excited. I think she's already through half of the pregnancy maybe i've never been pregnant so i don't really understand all the weeks and stuff i am so so excited so i'll probably talk about that in my next video not this video because i think this might go live this week like i might do a quick turnaround with it so today is monday and i plan on having a really chill and relaxing day um i'm not doing too much i spent the morning cleaning starting the dishwasher did my quiet time, got some work done. Now I'm gonna head to the grocery store. And then I've got small group tonight. So my small group was on Tuesday nights, but we switched it to Monday night. So I need to head to the grocery store, but before I go, I wanna show you guys my outfit. This is my outfit today. I live in this free people jumpsuit. It's expensive, but I love it so, so much. It's so comfy and I literally wear it all the time. I usually wear it with the free people tank top underneath, but I threw this like t-shirt on. It's really cute. It's got like this cute design underneath. Of course, I'll have everything linked down below. I'm also stopping at UPS because I need to return this book. Guys, I'm losing my mind. This is the second time I've ordered a book twice, forgetting that I already ordered it. So the first one was The Silent Patient. I didn't realize I had ordered it like a few weeks before. I ordered it again and read it, and then I found the other copy in like where all my books are, and I was like, wait, what? And I asked my friend, like, did I get this from you? And then I went and looked at my Amazon purchase history, and I bought it twice. And then this time, I was in Barnes & Noble, and bought the book and then ordered it on Amazon too in the same day. I have no clue what's wrong with me, but I'm literally losing my mind. I'm back from the grocery store. Three things, okay? One, they had these Tivana tea things on close out for two dollars two dollars so i got three which would normally be the price of one sadly they didn't have the mint one which this is what i used to make the honey citrus mint tea um at home but i got the peach one because i'm like that's crazy two for lunch i'm going to be making a sandwich if you guys follow me on instagram then you know i am obsessed with the boar's head cajun turkey it is so good. I'm normally not a turkey girl. I love ham. But the flavor in this with some Havarti cheese on a sandwich, it cannot be beat. And then three, tonight for dinner, I'm going to be making like a crock pot meal. I'm going to be doing chicken barbecue, so like pulled chicken. So I got hamburger buns. I'm going to read. I'm all cut up for my Bible study, and I'm just going to chill. Also, do you see how long my plant has gotten? It's grown so much. I think it grows like literally like two leaves a week, which is a lot. Close your eyes. Get some rest. I'm by your side. Lay your head on my chest. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I'm starting filming today a little bit later because I could not fall asleep last night. 
it was so miserable and I just woke up this morning and feel like I got hit by a bus like you know that feeling of you're just so so tired like you only got like three hours of sleep and I know I got more than that I don't know I was just not having a good morning and I've kind of talked about this a little bit but I feel like I've had a lot of just like underlying anxiety again it's nothing extreme, but I just feel like I'm nervous. So I really just tried to take my time this morning, really spent a lot of time in the Word. Um, I went on a walk to kind of pray, clear my mind, and just get some exercise and some movement in. And I do feel much better, so I feel like sometimes when I feel anxious, I just try to ignore it and not do anything to manage it. Um, but I know how to manage it, so I just need to do it well. Today I want to go over some books. I want to go over what I read in July and what I thought about it, and then my TBR, which is like to be read this month of August since it is the, I think it's August 2nd, yesterday was August 1st. And then I need to run some errands. I'll probably go to a couple stores. I want to pick up some food coloring for the cake stuff. Also, I want to pick out a dress for the gender reveal. Hannah texted me and was like, what are you wearing? And I was like, I haven't even thought about that. So I might go and see if I can find a cute little dress. I might do pink since I think it's a girl. Kind of go with the theme. But before we get into the books, I'm going to make lunch because I am so hungry. It's a little early, but I don't care. I'm going to eat. <laughs> about books so in January me and Sam set a goal to read one book a month and little did I know that this would unfold into a love of reading that I forgot that I had I used to really like reading like eighth grade into freshman year I read all the time and then I just stopped for some reason but here I am again and I love reading. So I'm gonna go over what I read in July and then what I plan to read in August. And if you guys want to see more content like this, then please, please, please let me know because this would be so fun. And before we dig into this, I just want to say that I am going to be telling you guys my thoughts on the book from a like story perspective, but then also from a Christian perspective, because as a Christian, some books are just too much for me and I feel a conviction about reading certain things and it's really hard to find like ratings on books like you would with a movie. You're able to look at a movie and go, okay, this is PG-13 because violence, language, sexual content. But with books, that's not really a thing. It kind of is, but not as detailed as movies. So not only am I gonna tell you guys if I recommend the book based off the story, but I'm gonna tell you my rating on the book as if it were a movie. Like, hey, this book was PG-13, had cussing, had some X, Y, Z, because I wish other people did that. So I'm gonna do it for you. So my favorite genre is definitely like murder, mystery, or like mystery kinds of books. I like some romance books, but maybe it's because they can either be really bad, like really detailed about sex, or I don't just love to read to read. I love to read to get to something, and that's why I love mystery, because you like want to keep turning the page to figure out what it is. So I feel like I should just explain that. That's definitely like what I love about reading. So a lot of these books are in the like mystery, murder mystery category. Okay, so we're gonna start with what I read in July. So the first book that I finished in July was The Silent Patient. Also, I feel like I just have to say, I am not someone that ever sees an ending coming unless it is like so extremely obvious. I don't even like to think about it because I enjoy being surprised. So I rarely ever see endings coming. This book was really good. It definitely had that end of a twist. So The Silent Patient is about a woman named Alicia Branson who comes home one day and shoots her husband five times and then never speaks a word again. And then it's from the perspective of the psychologist or psychotherapist that's trying to figure out why she won't speak. And that's what the book is about. It was a little slow for me. Everyone talked about this book like it was a page turner. And it was, especially towards like, you got a little bit in and you were like, okay, I wanna figure this out. It was really good. It was a great read and I gave it four stars. The ending was so good and I was like, whoa. Like I had to stop and think for a while. <laughs> After I read it, it was so good, but it wasn't five star quality to me. As for like appropriateness rating, I need to come up with a name for this, but I would definitely say 
Wow, I read this like a month ago. I would say PG-13. I remember there being a good amount of language, but I don't think there was anything really inappropriate, like sexually wise or anything like that. Um, it obviously like references things, but it's nothing extreme or explicit. So I would say this book is PG-13. Okay, the next book I read was A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I had no clue that I would love this book so much. This is so such a good series. There's three books in the series that I read, all three. So it's A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, and then the second one is Good Girl, Bad Blood. My friend has it, so I don't have it physically. And then the third book is As Good as Dead. So I'll get to those in a second. So this book is about a girl named Pip, and as her final project as a senior in high school, she decides to re-examine a closed case from her town that like five years ago, this girl and her boyfriend both died, and they said the boyfriend had killed her and then killed himself. And she sets out to examine if that finding is true. I loved this book. I loved reading Pip's character. It was just so, so good. And I literally read this book in like 24 hours. It's a super quick and easy read and it's just really, really fun. There's even some underlying romance, which I love mystery that has some underlying romance in it. This book was easily five stars for me. I would say that this is probably PG-13, but like a very light PG-13. There's just, obviously she's investigating a murder, so. You know, there's some stuff in there. And then now on to the second book in that series, which is Good Girl, Bad Blood. I finished this book and I was like, wow, that was even better than the first one. So I also gave this one five stars. I loved it so much. So the second book is about the same characters and she eventually starts like a true crime podcast and then it goes into that. And when I first read that, I was like, eh, is that gonna be good? But it was so, so good. After I finished the first one, I did not know how she would make two more books, but she did a good job. And the second book, I would give it the same rating, PG-13. Now on to the third book, As Good As Dead. Let me tell you, I was so excited to read this book. And was it a good book? Yes. But was I disappointed? Yes, because the first two were so good and so like upbeat and happy. And this book got dark pretty quick. Like even the character herself changes a lot. And I get it a little bit because she's been through a lot without spoiling anything, but it was still just harder for me to read. So this book is about the same character and she kind of figures out that she might have a stalker and it might be connected to a serial killer. So it's her figuring all this out. And this book was definitely just a lot harder to read. It was not as light and easy to read as the first two. And I think I gave this 3.5 stars. I It was still an easy book to read because you are turning the page, you want to figure out what happens, but it was just so much darker that I was like, oh, like this is not the same girl that I knew and loved. And so I was really disappointed in this book. And I feel like you could end at the first two and not read the third one and be perfectly fine. But if you like to close loose ends, then this is a good book for that. But yeah, I would definitely give this like a rated R just based off the language. Like she just she loved to cuss in that book, which was hard for me to read because I loved the characters so much in the first two. And she was still herself in that book, but it wasn't the same. But overall, I still recommend the series. I really loved the first two books. So those are my July reads. Now into my TBR, which is my to be read this month. So to start is the book that I've been reading and started. It's called The Inheritance Games. I'm on page 140 and so far it is so good and I can't wait to keep reading. It's about a girl named Avery who's really struggling. Her mom recently died. She lives with her sister. Her sister's in an abusive relationship. All this stuff. Clearly she's got a rough life. Then all of a sudden she's told that she was in the will of this really, really, really rich man. We're talking billions. And so she goes to there, meets the family, and they're waiting to read the will to figure out who got all the money. And he leaves her pretty much his entire fortune. So his family is convinced she's a con woman, she's got something after him. And she was like, I didn't even know this guy. Why did he leave me all this money? So between her and the grandsons and the family, they're trying to figure out why he left her the money. And this book is about solving riddles and codes and finding things inside the mansion to figure out why he left her the money. And it is so good so far. So I already recommend this book because I'm 140 pages in. So this is a series. So my next two books I will be reading are the ones in that series. The second book is The Hawthorne Legacy, which should be here today. And then the third book actually comes out August 30th, so at the end of this month, and it's called The Final Gamblet. 
So fun fact, I do not like to read the back of books before reading the book. So I cannot describe the other two because I don't wanna know because I wanna finish this book first and just let it surprise me along the way. So the next series on my to be read is the Red Queen series. My cousin actually recommended this series to me and I'm really, really excited. I know it's got a lot of books and it's definitely a different genre than I'm used to. It's fantasy, but I do kind of like fantasy style books. I've read a lot of books actually in that realm um, and I really enjoy it. So I hope that this series will be good. And then the next book that I plan on reading this month is The Insanity of God. A few people in my small group talked about how much this book changed their lives and I'm really excited to read it. It's all about pretty much the persecuted church and stories from a missionary over there. Yes, so it's the persecuted church in Muslim contexts and I read an excerpt from this and it literally made me cry. It was so beautiful and amazing to see how God is working in those people. And so I really can't wait to read this. The last book on my TBR is Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I've not purchased this book yet, but I do plan on doing it. I've heard he's a great author in this mystery genre. So I wanna see how it is. I was trying to find again, like a good parent's guide on it and I couldn't find anything. So I might just have to take one for the team and read it and figure out if it's appropriate or not or what his style is like because I've never read one of his books but I really want to so let me know if you guys want to see more content like this this is so fun I've been loving reading books and I feel like you guys would too if you're not a reader you can totally do it I feel like I'm easily intimidated by reading but I promise it is so so fun all that being said I'm gonna run some errands get some things done and then we'll get to cooking dinner later tonight I'm back from running errands and I decided not to go shopping because I was like, I do not feel like it. I want to read my book, which this is my issue with reading is that it's like all I want to do and then I avoid all my responsibilities, which is not good. But I did decide I'll look for a dress like, I don't know, Thursday or something. I got all of this gel food coloring to do the cakes that I wanna start practicing to make. So I think today what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make the icing because I've never made this kind of buttercream. I think it's Swiss buttercream, so it's got like egg whites and you've gotta melt down sugar and it's just a little bit more complicated than buttercream normally is, or at least like American style buttercream. Oh, I just put my sleeve and something sticky on the counter. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and attempt to make the frosting. Maybe practice the technique a little bit with the palette knives and then read and then make dinner. I am making an elaborate dinner tonight because I've been craving doing that. So I do need extra time to prep and stuff. But I think that's my plan for today. A very happy baking day. The sun has been coming out a little bit which makes me so happy. Okay, it is now later in the afternoon and I had to do that icing recipe three different times. Thankfully, I never got to the butter part or else I literally wouldn't have had enough butter. And then I finally finished it and it looks beautiful. It's tasty, but I was like, wow, this is like really salty. Like it's not bad, but it's definitely not supposed to be this salty. And then I remember I used salted butter and I was just like, wow. Wow, good thing I wasn't planning on really like serving anybody this frosting. It was more for me to like practice with, but yeah, that was that was a struggle. For dinner, we're gonna be having this Korean beef from the Half Baked Harvest. Super simple cookbook. This is my favorite cookbook of hers, and I love this recipe. So Sam should be home too, so let's go ahead and get this recipe started. Oh my child, I know you heard and you can't let go. It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt Ooh, I know you tried so hard Ooh. We're finished with dinner. Sam got home kind of late so we just have been catching up ate dinner now we're popping popcorn eating these amazing peanut butter cups from trader joe's and we're gonna watch under the banner of heaven we're on the last episode i think this show is very very interesting i will say i don't know the first episode there was a part where i was like did it just show her boob 
I didn't know if it did. It kind of looked like it did, but maybe because we had the lights on and it was dark, like a dark scene, so it's hard to tell. Anyway, just warning out there. That's what we've been watching. And then I definitely plan on ending the night with reading. It helps me fall asleep. And this book is just so good. I'm more than halfway through now. And I just want to figure it out. It's really, really good. Close your eyes. Get some rest. I'm by your side. Good morning. Happy, what, Wednesday? Today is the day where I'm going to practice doing the flowers. I think I'm just going to practice like on parchment paper and I'll show you guys like how it works because it blew my mind when I saw how people did it. So I'm letting the frosting come to room temp right now. I just spent the morning doing my quiet time. I got some work done. And now we're gonna do the laundry. Sam's working from home today, and he's got a baseball game tonight mm. at 9 p.m. He just told me this today. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it's at 9 p.m. It's a it's a pretty intense intramural softball league, and I'm playing with my company. Yeah, like I'm kind of annoyed. I told him I was like, oh, I imagine being the wife that's there every game, but. 9 p.m. 9 p.m. That's like my max. <laughs> Sam's working from home, so we're gonna do the laundry, get some stuff done. But I'm right here, it's gonna be okay. Okay, time for the palette knife painting. So that's what I'm talking about. These are some of the palette knives that I have, I've got a ton of other ones too, but these are the main ones I think I'll use. And then I have an offset spatula. All the icing I made yesterday, and then all of my food coloring over here. What are we doing today, Chef Jacqueline? Some palette knife painting. I guess I'll put like clips of me doing it. I'm not gonna try to explain it because I'm not there yet. I'm not a pro, so I feel like me explaining it would be really difficult. <laughs> I always forget my apron, but I will not forget it today. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh. So I finished here. This green one, I should have just left it, but I kept going and I just honestly made it worse. This one looks pretty good and this was the same thing like these initial petals were really good but then I had trouble like doing it from the back side. That's really really hard but for you know first try I think it's pretty good. And now I have this giant mess that I need to clean up. I just cleaned up the mess that was in the kitchen. And you guys already know what I'm going to do next. Read my book. You and I can weather any storm. So my friend that had the second book to a good girl's guide to murder series just came by gave me back the second book i just gave her the third book and we just caught up and it was really fun so it is definitely dinner time so i need to stop reading i'm on page 237 i'm getting close to the end and something crazy just happened and i'm like i'm just i'm trying to comprehend it all i'm gonna make some pasta for dinner and then we've got sam's baseball game tonight we're still deciding if i'm gonna join and cheer him on Okay, let's cook some pasta. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. As you can see, Sam is still working. 
I did not time this well. I thought he was done with calls, but he was not, which is okay. So we know what this means. Yes. Chapter 57. Let's go. Who's throwing a ball? Okay, this is gonna maybe bounce out. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, don't worry, babe, I got it. High school shorts that right here. Oof. Clearly, I can't do my full moves because we're in the living room. Jeez. Ooh, not quick <laughs> enough. I'll bounce it off the table. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was this close to hitting me in the face. I'll be the first one to admit that was cool. Sam's heading out to his game. I'm gonna go watch him next week. He's gonna see how he feels this yeah. week. We're also on the phone with Kurt. I feel like I'm missing something. Say hi, Kurt. My vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> It's 9.56, I'm in bed, and I am determined to finish this book. I only have this much left. I'm not sure how many pages are in here because when I try to look at like the last page and the number, I always accidentally read things and I'm just done doing that to myself, so I'm not gonna do that. So it's just a guessing game from here, but I'm positive I can finish this tonight. So that is definitely my plan. I think this vlog is packed enough that I might just stop filming and upload this for you guys and have it ready to go. Don't forget to let me know if you guys liked the book content and all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.